So in our get album, we are getting an album for the band of which we pass the band ID for. So we need to make sure that the band ID as well as the album ID is correct. And we have a similar situation up here where we did the add album because that also required the band ID as well as the album. So I'm simply gonna copy these two if statements because they're gonna be the same for getting the band. So here we check if the band ID is the same and we will also check if the album ID is not empty. So if it's guid.empty then we'll throw the exception for the album ID. And if everything checks out we can now return the result of a query. So we'll do a return statement and go to our context and we are going to of course return an album so we'll go to our album db set but we're not gonna return all the albums we're gonna filter it down to the specific album so we'll use the where clause and in the where clause we check if the band id matches the band id supplied from the argument so we'll do a lambda expression and check if the band id matches the band id argument and additionally we will check the album id so we'll go and see if the album id matches the album id and if it is then we have a match and this is the album that we want to return so we'll simply use the first or default to grab the first album that matches this condition and there should be only one because obviously the IDs are unique. So again, first we check if the IDs are valid and if they are, in our albums DB set, we have the band ID, remember that's our foreign key, and we check if it matches the ID that is supplied into this method and we check the album ID to match the album ID argument and we will return the record that matches these two IDs. So next, let's get all the albums for a specific band.